Hey everybody, so uh, this video today is going to be on the topic of vasomotor rhinitis. Uh, so this is uh, a medical problem that's sort of like nasal allergies, but a, li a little bit different. Um, the, the typical thing with vasomotor rhinitis is the main symptom is actually kind of watery, runny nose. Um, and the classic story is the patient's nose starts to run. Um, while they're eating or kind of right after meals. Uh, so what's going on with vasomotor rhinitis? So basically what happens is, so normally anytime any of us eat or drink, our brains are telling our mouths to produce saliva or spit to help us to chew and digest food. Sometimes for really unknown reasons, the, the nerves get confused. And instead of, you know, making saliva, it starts telling your nose to make mucus when you're eating. Um, so that's sort of what happens. So people start eating and then their nose starts to produce this watery mucus that then drips out and bothers them. Um, so, you know, with this problem, uh, we typically see it in kind of middle-aged and older adults. It's not something I usually see in young children or teenagers. Um, usually this is treated pretty well with a specific type of nasal spray. Um, it's not the usual like Flonase or Nasacort that most people think of. Um, it's a medication called Ipratropium. Uh, and this is, it's actually an older medication, but it specifically helps to dry up the nose. So it dries up that watery dripping drainage. Um, it doesn't help much with stuffiness or sinus pressure or itching and sneezing, but it really does help to dry up uh, watery drainage. So that's usually what I use ipratropium for. Um, so that's kind of the first thing that we do to treat patients with vasomotor rhinitis. Um, for patients who do well with that, um, I do typically offer them uh, an in-office procedure called Clarifix that I may have discussed in some other videos. And basically what that does is it uh, freezes uh, an area in the back of the nose on both sides um, where the nerves are that are causing this watery drainage. Um, and that can have more of a long-lasting effect at drying up the nose. Uh, so anyway, that's your little uh, review today on vasomotor rhinitis. Uh, if your nose is dripping all the time, come and see me and I will help you out with that. <laughs> have a great day. Bye.